This is MSJ Chem, and in this video, I'm going to be looking at the formation and destruction of ozone. Let's start by looking at the ozone layer. The ozone layer is located about 20 to 30 kilometers above the surface of the Earth in the lower stratosphere. Sunlight consists mainly of short wavelength radiation, that's ultraviolet, visible light, and infrared. Much of the harmful UV radiation is absorbed by the ozone layer. Ozone absorbs UV radiation in the range of 200 to 315 nanometers. This corresponds to the higher energy UV radiation, that's UVB and UVC, which can cause damage to living tissue. In this diagram, you can see that UVB and UVC radiation are absorbed by the ozone layer preventing them from reaching the surface of the earth where they can harm living organisms. Next we look at the formation of ozone. The oxygen molecule dissociates in the presence of high energy UV radiation with a wavelength of less than 242 nanometers to produce two oxygen free radicals. Free radicals are atoms that have an unpaired electron. In the next reaction, the free radicals react with molecular oxygen to form ozone. In this process, potentially harmful high-energy UV radiation is absorbed. Next, we look at the destruction of ozone. The ozone molecule dissociates in the presence of low-energy UV radiation with a wavelength of less than 330 nanometers to form molecular oxygen and an oxygen-free radical. In the next step, the oxygen free radical reacts with ozone to form molecular oxygen. The rate of formation of ozone is equal to the rate of the destruction of ozone, which is known as a steady state. In this process, harmful high energy UV radiation is absorbed. However, human pollutants such as the oxides of nitrogen and CFCs can disrupt this process and lead to holes in the ozone layer, which we'll look at in a later video. 